I got a family to feed. What's up, y'all? Let's get into this video with um your boy CJ. So he uh <laughs> he's hiring Nike to be his security guard for when they go pick up um or if, when he do the drop off of them cheer. Let's get into it. Nothing about him screams me. I'm taller than him. I got more money than him. I look better than him. I smell better than him. I do better than him. Everything about me is better than him. <laughs> so I'm back again. And as you guys can see, I do not have my lovely, sexy lady Lexi next to me. She's actually getting her hair and makeup done because we have bigger and better things to do. But while she's doing that, I decided to tap back in with you guys and get a little bit more off my chest now that I've had time to review some comments. And that is exactly what I actually was going to do. I wanted to go through some of the comments and read before I gave you guys exactly what you came to get based off the thumbnail and title. Everybody's concerned about, am I trying to set something up? Is it going to be a fight? Is there going to be some drama? No. All right. I really don't know, but I'm saying no on my behalf because I'm not trying to set up anything please don't <laughs> I, I, before we even get into this um i just want y'all to know i ain't mad at him for doing it <laughs> i'm not mad at him for doing this you want to know why Roy T ain't gonna show up y'all she ain't gonna show up her mama is gonna be there for that drop off and her um her brother Roy T will no longer be at the drop offs how much y'all want to bet let me know. I'm actually trying to prevent things from happening. And these are the measures that I know will help me. So that being said, am I trying to make anything? No. But am I trying to stop something? Yes. That being said, my baby mama, Nike, AKA baby mama, she has already proven to be down for whatever, whenever, wherever. That being said, I have decided to put money in her bank account so that she can move to Las Vegas and properly protect me. Now, I know you guys probably thinking, wait, what a, this came out of nowhere. Why can't you protect yourself? Why can't <laughs> <laughs> I like I like his new content. <clears throat> um I, I ain't gonna lie, it's dangerous for him to just be out there with royalty and um drop them kids off. I, I agree. I never disagree with it. However, I I don't agree with him talking about the child because somebody you know, I, I ain't even into reading comments no more. I'm about to get on his level. Fuck, well, he reads the comments. I'm about to get off that. I'm about to be on my little baby shit. Fuck these comments. Um, People got to argue with themselves because y'all don't be understanding where I'm coming from. But it's no way in hell two people in a dramatic situation and the only person that is right is him. It's just no way that that's possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, And it's no way that she would be the only one right. They both be wrong as hell. Oh, Why one more thing. If you don't want to watch my video, do me a favor. Walk out that door, take a right, go out the front door, and then go to his channel and watch his original video because that's what the original video is for. All right. Continue if we shall. Can't you get your girlfriend Lexi to do it? Well, guys, I have hired security guards, and Lexi has also participated in protecting me. But I don't want her to be out there doing that. Neither do I want Nike to be out there doing that. But it's not up tonight, all right? She's my first baby mama. She has to hold it down. She is the one from where I am from, which means she's ready for all the drama. Now, I am too, but I have a standard to uphold. I am like a Fortune 500 company. When you guys look at a Fortune 500 company like Apple, you don't see the owner fighting in the streets. You don't see the a freaking the ceo baby mama drama out on the internet you don't see none of that I a lot of y'all were so disgusted with this video and sent it to me and i'm just like friend what what's the problem i don't blame him i i, I don't blame him for hiring secure hiring security i just wish he stopped talking about her that's all if he just stopped talking about her it'd probably still be some shit that's probably his point in general but Anyway, I, it can be even an employee. I have never seen anything about anybody working at a Apple, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile. I don't know why I'm naming all these cell phone companies, but the list goes on. Michael Jordan, Nike, Adidas, Balenci. Every time somebody from these big companies do something crazy, it makes it to the internet, right? I'm not trying to be like that. All these companies going down for whatever, like Balenciaga, we start wearing those, right? I don't want to be the person that people stop watching. Gotcha. 
This is my 11,000th time saying this. I was brutally injured in a home invasion by young goon gangsters who might be from Cali, might be from Northtown, Las Vegas. I don't know where the heck they from. But what I do know is they act as if they are my number one enemies and now we are all seeing that I have some enemies out there. What we are seeing is basically the people that shot me, okay, that hated me under the covers. They had no idea that they hated me. I didn't even know they hated me. Nobody knew they hated me. Versus the people that everybody knows hates me. I know hate me and they know they hate me. They might be willing to do some of the same things that the people that hated me. That and that too, it's just hard to agree with that because now, before I say that, I do understand where he coming from because you don't put trust in no soul. Not one soul on this earth, especially this earth. This earth ain't trustable. You know what I'm saying? So I completely understand um, why he would say this. Uh, but it's just, he keep putting that narrative out there. Like she going to kill me. She going to kill me. Like he just keep putting that in the universe. And I don't think that's good for him or the universe. And nobody knew about it. Basically what I'm trying to say is yes, I am afraid for my life. So I had to hire Nike. Some of you might be wondering, is this a consistent thing? Is this just a one month thing? No, I am going to be paying Nike $20,000. to. I'm glad Nike getting paid $20,000. I'm also glad Nike don't work at that job no more. I am also glad that Nike is about to reap some of the benefits that royalty reaped blue but reap them okay let's just talk about it be my security for every pickup and every drop off moving forward i don't care if she's not ready to move out here she already had to talk with me i had to talk with her we settled it she's coming she's protecting me and like i said earlier we are not going to cause any any trouble we're not going to cause no drama but we will be protected there will no longer be no random yelling and you need a job and you need a car <sighs> It was royalty holding her jacket so the phone can see her. <laughs> so the phone can obviously see Lexi, but royalty look crazy. He do. The mask, I don't understand the mask. All of what you guys just saw will no longer take place because the moment I feel unsafe, the moment I am being cursed at, the moment I am being yelled at, I will blow my whistle. <laughs> And my security guard will come out of left field and tackle somebody. I'm just letting you know right now. What sucks is when people don't give you the awareness that things are about to happen, when they don't let you properly prepare. So when those people broke into my house, I had no idea. I am lucky and blessed that God had my back and I had protection in my nightstand. But what if I wasn't prepared just because of my, you know, my prior years in the Navy or living in Gary, Indiana? What if I didn't have that set up? What if I was just sleeping and then they came in and I was gone? That's crazy. He would have got smoked. Crazy, right? So I'm basically not doing that to my other baby mama, Charlene. I'm properly preparing her so that she knows that the moment she thinks she can lash out at me, I'm going to have someone that's bigger than her lash out at her. So you know what they used to say, pick on somebody your own size? Technically, I'm not the any of their size. I'm bigger than all of them. And I hate talking like this because, quite frankly, my content as of lately has been nothing but positivity. I mean, you might not have been watching it, but I don't care. I like to watch it. The kids like to watch it. I can promote it to my little kids and everybody out there that I I feel is feasible enough to watch great content. Now, of course, some people like ghetto drama, manipulated fighting and arguing. I don't really like doing it, but it happens. He don't like doing that. He just like throwing a little shade, you know. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now too, shade it just ain't gonna hold up in court. It ain't unless she countersues him for uh, defamation, which she hasn't done that yet. But she don't want to do that because she rather argue with him at the meetups. Right. To me. So since it happened to me, I have the right, I have the power to lash back out, to make a video and speak on it. That's exactly what I'm doing. So some of you might be mad. Some of you might have your own opinion. And I know I said I was going to read comments and I got a little bit carried away, but I'm going to read some comments. All right. We're going to go to my dashboard. We're going to go to my last video. It is called I'm Done. I finally quit. Um, if you haven't checked that out, you might want to go check it starting from the one posted 37 seconds ago. If you don't want Lexi doing her hair, why the hell you don't keep it braided? Wow. Who going to let their child walk around with their hair nappy? She's with him from Thursday to Sunday. Make it make sense, Charlene. Now, I was completely on his side with that one. It's no way in hell you going to send a child with ponytails and think that by Sunday, uh, her hair gonna look like it looked when you dropped her off. Completely unacceptable, and I completely understand that. However, he does want her to have the um the the edges. He likes the edges. 
DJ gonna have to learn how to do them edges. <laughs> or, child, cause she ain't gonna say nothing to Nike. Nike will be doing the edges at this point. When Nike doing them edges, oh, she gonna be hot, hot. Man, I don't even gotta read nothing else. I let, bro, I literally read the first comment from 37, look, they gonna think I'm lying, from 37 seconds ago, and then it's somebody agreeing with me a thousand percent. They're literally saying, wait a minute, all of this drama happened because a little girl named Cordea, who just so happens to be three years old, hair was done. Now, might I add, her hair looked exactly the same as it did when she was dropped off to me. Only thing that had changed was that her bangs had now been done, or whatever you call these baby hairs. That's it, we laid the baby hairs down. That is it. You want to know something even funnier? I asked Lexi to do it. She didn't just say you. Now that's crazy that he sent her back presentable and she was upset. Now I agree with that as well. That's just crazy. You know what? I'm going to do this out of spite. I'm going to do this because I know Charlene's going to be mad. No. I said, Lexi, can you please do my daughter's hair? We're going to go out into the mall. We're going to have this intro. I really want my daughter to be looking nice. I don't want her to come back and look at this and go, well, when I was with dad, I looked at like a bum. I don't want that to happen. My daughter dressed nice when she with me. She eat nice when she with me. She play nice when she with me. And when she here, she's going to feel that love and she's going to look good. All right? I, I don't know how else to put it. I understand that the mother was upset that now she's realizing we don't need her anymore. We don't need her to do Cordae's hair. We don't need her to put no clothes on her. We don't need her to help with the skin irritation. We don't need her at all. We, we basically just want to adopt my kids. That's what I'm trying to say. So yesterday's video, when I said I quit, I'm finally done. A lot of people took it a lot of different ways and I'm here the exact next day to sum it up for all of you guys, all right? What I want to quit from doing is seeing Charlene Young. That is what I want. <laughs> Want to do what I want you guys to quit doing is calling her royalty. That is not her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he said he want us to stop calling her royalty. <laughs> Freaking name. Actually, when I met her, she lied and said that was her name. Had this big ghetto tattoo blasted on the chest, which I paid to have removed. So even she thinks that her name isn't royalty anymore. So let's just cut the crap. Her name is Charlene, okay? We can call her a lot of things, but she ain't got nothing royalty about it. Now, I know some of you are sitting back eating popcorn saying to yourself, why is he going so hard on his baby mama? They still got kids together. In the future, they might be cool. Well, I want you to take a second of your life to go back and backtrack a little bit. Well, if you... Is sick of this bitch. He is so tired. <laughs> yo, he tired of her, y'all. He is so tired of her. Oh my god. Think about all the times I they tired of each other, okay? This Nike, all the times I teamed up with Charlene to go at Nike's head in a video just like this. It only makes sense that I do the same thing to show her how it felt. Because a lot of you don't know, every time I beef with my first and original baby mama. Nike, Kamari's mom, whatever you guys call her. Baby mama, I don't know what you call her. Every single time I used to beef with her, it wasn't my idea. Why would I want to beef with the mother of my child? I really oh, some of y'all asked me where I got this from. Girl, Amazon. It is an electrical bracket for little stupid ass gnats. I ain't got one right now. But I live by water, so and blah, blah, blah want to just stay out the way and make positive videos that everybody like, right? But then I got this person in my ear all the time. Mm. I hate your baby mama. If you hate her too, make this video with me. Otherwise, you cheating on her and I'm going to take my kids from your videos. Mm. Everything was always about I'm going to take this from you. I'm going to stop this from you. Your views going to drop. Your channel going to flop. It was always about that. She thought she had this power over me. And now you know, it's another thing I got to give CJ credit for. This nigga is doing a video and not holding the camera. <laughs> CJ will do a whole hour video like this. Yeah, guys, because you know what I'm saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just sick of time. You know what I'm saying? And he's sitting the camera down. Thank you. Now, thank God I finally just woke up and said, Get out! Everybody get your bags. Pack that shit now and get the fuck out my mother <laughs> I got to help my check. We felt so good to say that. Before I get carried away, I might want to go back to the comments. But yeah, I had to kick her out because her and some of her kids were very disrespectful and I couldn't take it anymore. And all of the, you ain't nothing without me and your channel would be absolutely nothing without me. And you absolutely wrong, okay? Let me tell you why you're wrong. I have continued to post videos and even if my video views aren't where they used to be five years ago, you can go and look at a lot of YouTubers and say the same thing. Even if they have or have not lost. Touche. Touche. Characters on their channel. So that being said. Ooh, y'all gonna be mad at me because I see nothing wrong with this video today. <laughs> 
I don't see anything wrong with this video today. Like yesterday, 11 11 to chat. Yesterday, child, he called her all types of fucking zoo animals and all kind of stuff. My issue is if she is acting like it, you know, it is what it is. But ultimately, his words, him, him saying anything is not going to hold up in court, right? As in him talking trash about her. The court don't give a damn about that. So that's why she's going to have to like get some self-control on how she reacts to uh, what he does. And her best bet is to not go to the meetups. I didn't even know she didn't have to go to the meetups. Her mama and her brother already be there. You don't need to be there, hon. You don't. So yeah, nah. I want everyone out there watching to know one thing. If you were or you weren't a valuable part to this channel, it doesn't matter anymore because what's old is already done and now we're here. So we talk about right now. Have I fell off the face of the earth? No. Is there still fans walking up to me in public every time I'm out? Yes. Do I still get views and make money on YouTube? Absolutely. So who fell where? Because obviously you are the one falling and you're trying to project your lifestyle on me. But actually I'm living in a mansion. My swimming pool is big. My twins love coming here. I still drive my uterus. I have all of my jewelry and it's clean. I still wear designer when and whenever I want to. I don't post naked pictures of myself online. I don't promote OnlyFans or passes. I'm not hanging with pimps and prostitutes. I am doing the exact opposite of a failure. Okay? <clears throat> anyone? A drink? Anyone? You are the exact... Bro, you are Chris Sales 2.0, the female. Oh my god. Oh my god, he called her Chris Sales, the female version. <laughs> version that is it i just figured it out you are everything that they was trying to say i would be last time we broke out and now we're here and we're like hold on he's still rising above all and even when he does touch back on the drama he does it with a tasteful way while she's doing it in the most distasteful way possible y'all saw the video on my channel on the media pages on her story before she deleted it i mean you just don't look good in no way can you look at that video and say charlene you look good you just don't the fuzzy has to go the scully has to go the face tap has to go all the covering up the face has to go if you didn't want the face tag, why would you get the face damn he's still rising above all and even when he does touch back on the drama he does it with a tasteful way while she's doing it in the most distasteful way possible y'all saw the video on my channel on the media pages on her story before she deleted it i mean you just don't look good in no way can you look at that video and say charlene you look good you just don't the fuzzy has to go the scully has to go the face tag has to go all the covering up the face tag has to go if you didn't want the face tag why would you get the face tag if you go cover it up why would you get now i really don't want to get personal here i really want to jump back into my comments so let's just do that because i mean some people are hating on me that's why i wanted to go to my comments i actually didn't hope that everything was good i hope that i could find something bad so i can lash out on that person but let's just go <laughs> cj please don't give up on your kids lexi be his backbone it's beautiful loving it's beautiful love going on my bad i'm so mad i can Oh, I can barely read this. Let me heart that and like it because that was a positive comment. Moving on to the next. Let's just say if you ever go broke, will Lexi still be there? Or if you wasn't successful, will she date you? Wow. So that's not a question for me. That's a question for Lexi to ask, but Lexi's getting her makeup done. So we're not going to be able to ask that question. But I'm going to answer it to the best of my abilities. When Lexi first got with me, I was in a real bad situation. When I got shot, I was in a worse situation. And she stayed through both situations. That being said, yes, she would be with me if I was broke. Yes, she would be with me if I was nothing because technically all of the haters are saying that I am broke and I am, I fell off and I'm nothing. So what do you mean? That was kind of like a dumb question, but I answered it and I kind of gave you feedback. Um, CJ is so full of chit for this with a bunch of laughing emojis. I'm actually not, okay? I have to do things like this because I'm a social media influencer, which means I don't want someone else influencing social media when I can do that myself. I don't want you guys looking at Charlene's little quick video of her cussing me out and thinking, see, CJ always on bull. He probably <laughs> said, see. Started it. No, I was actually not saying anything. I gave her Cordelia. She went to the car. She came back yelling. No one was talking. I wasn't talking. Her mama wasn't talking. CJ was crying. Lexi wasn't talking. And Dave was already in the Jeep. No one was talking until Charlene came back from that Jeep with her phone that I bought her a long time ago <laughs> and her shirt like this and it's stanking ass fuzzy, getting all sweaty. It probably don't even work today. That's why she ain't came out with a new video. Anyway, she came out the car. Hey, Lexi! Nigga is going crazy. Hey, Lexi, what's so funny? Huh? What's so funny? Hey, Lexi, what's so funny? Hey, CJ, don't say my man's name no more. Uh, 
Can you say it one time for the video? Like, what the? I'm not saying your man's name. I never said your man's name. Who is your man? Somebody come get your man's. Your man's got cut off the team. We don't care about your man's. He's a coked out crackhead. He got pulled over and arrested. It's on TMZ. What more do you need from me? I don't know what you want me to do, but I'm trying to let you know that you and your man are in the same category. You guys are over there and I'm over there. I don't look at you, think about you, want to see you, talk to you, think of you. None of that. Okay, it don't got nothing to do with the fact that you're ugly, dirty, musty, stinky, your breasts smell like cigarettes. It has everything. Oh my. When I say CJ could not wait to see, he been wanting to say this for a minute. Let him let it out, girl. Let it out, CJ. Nothing to do with your energy. When I see you, it's like a dark cloud. I got your face covered for a reason because when I think of you, I want to scream. That was not a joke. I know people took it as that, but I was dead serious. For nine years of my life, I can't believe that the good God Almighty allowed me to thrive in the chaotic zone that I was in. A lot of you guys are looking at my personal life saying, Well, didn't you cheat before? Don't you use money against them? Didn't you take all the money in your bank account, huh? Huh? Okay, listen, all of what you guys have thought, those are just thoughts. Those are opinions and it's cool. Have what you have, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Everything that was told to you by her or them was clearly a lie to manipulate you guys into believing that there's somebody to be interested in. Clearly, you guys can see for yourself. At this point, they get no attention. The views they do get, I'm proud of them. I mean, I got I gotta give it up to them. I wouldn't watch a second of their videos. It's unscripted, unedited, un no topic at all, just all over the place. And most of it involves her shouting out somebody who nobody knows or cares about. So well, you got to be watching it. And and he's right on that though. Cause I don't know why she is like proudly talking about that man she dating. He bruh just ain't. Nah. Nah. It, it, it ain't it. So a lot of her content is like damn near a promotional channel for somebody else. So that is why the views are what they are. It has nothing to do with me being gone. Because look, they're gone from my channel and my views still do what they do. So we didn't have to be together to see who was who. They're on their own. She got a lot of kids and a lot of content that she's available to use. Instead, she has this cracked out dude calling himself me. He wants to be me so bad that she's watching him and thinking that it's me trying to be him. But whole time, it's him trying to be me. Now, I know some of you were like, but you dyed your hair. First of all, my hair is dyed brown. If you can't see, I said it was blonde and I made a thumbnail with blonde hair, but my hair is actually auburn brown. Oh my God. Wow. And not only to mention, he is not and never will be the only person with his hair dyed. He is just, matter of fact, hold on. I don't even know what to call that stuff on his head because it's not a hair. It's probably a wig or toupee, I don't know. It looks different every freaking day. Sometimes it look like he picked it out. Sometimes it look like royalty twisted it. I don't know. But what I do know is we look totally different and nothing about me screams him. Nothing about him screams me. I'm taller than him, I got more money than him, I look better than him, I smell better than him, I do better than him. Everything about me is better than him. <laughs> Did you hide a hair? You know you smell better than that man. What do you mean I want to be him? He wants to be me. I'm not calling myself whatever the freak he call himself. He's walking around telling people he's me. Okay, so get it right. This video was not for me to get mad and start yelling. I actually hate doing that because people take clips of it and then they make me look crazy. But I don't really care because at the end of the day, as long as I get my word out, I can rest at night knowing that you guys have heard both sides of the story. Because like we all heard, there's always two and sometimes three sides to the story. And for this one, there's probably 10 sides. I mean, we got Lexi's perspective, mine, Roa, Andy, my brother, his kids like literally you know what in the comment section I'm gonna be looking for you guys to tell me whose perspective you really interested in hearing because my brother got a lot to say he lived with us all right so for those of you saying who are these random kids in your intro you just trying to get some views off these random kids actually let me talk how y'all be typing who the random kid he just trying to get some views real quick <laughs> off these kids he don't even know them they my nieces and nephews so if you don't know what that means that means we're connected through blood whether I've saw them last year whether I never saw them, it doesn't matter. We're thick. Blood is thicker than water. We're literally family, all right? The only reason why they weren't in my life or in my videos for this long amount of time is because my brother wasn't in my life and neither was his kids in his life. It's a long story. Maybe we should have him explain it, but I'm just letting you guys know you don't know everything. So sometimes when you comment acting like you do, you only make yourself look crazy and then you leave room for me to make another video like this. Anyway, I'm gonna read a couple more comments and then I'm gonna go because I already been supposed to left. I ain't got time for this. This is way beneath me and I'm trying to stay on the positive note. So for those of you watching, and hell, I'm about to leave it too because listen. Um, 
I get it. You know, we can't tell uh we can't tell him not to feel away about whatever the hell has happened in his life. I can't. I just I just wish he stopped talking about her. Um, I think his whole point is even if I did stop talking about her, she's still gonna talk. And he probably right. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Obviously, it's gonna be the sum of CJ So Cool Royalty. Uh, her brother, her boyfriend, her mama, his brother, all the children. Okay. Uh, and Nike. I can't wait for Nike to come. I love Nike. Okay. <clears throat> Leo Bobs. But anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.